Badgers, I'm Annie. And I'm Jen. And this is the Daily Cardinals Last Week in Review. Governor Scott Walker formally announced his budget proposal in a statement Tuesday. The proposed $300 million cuts to the UW system as well as the autonomy measures sparked student and faculty interest. The Associated Students of Madison met Wednesday to discuss the loss of shared governance and the effects of potential layoffs. Chancellor Rebecca Blank responded to Walker's budget announcement in an email sent to students Thursday, voicing her concerns over the largest budget cuts in university history. Walker also proposed in the address that the Wisconsin idea centers around a mission to meet the state's workforce needs. The university has explained the goal of the mission is to improve lives beyond the classroom through teaching, research, outreach, and public service. The differences in wording sparked controversy as people questioned if Walker's changes opposed the true essence and tradition of the 111-year-old Wisconsin idea. Walker responded Wednesday, stating that the phrase was a drafting error. A robbery occurred at the U.S. Bank on East Campus Mall Wednesday. The suspect, described as a tall, white male, was potentially armed, according to a whisk alert. The man entered the bank and demanded that the clerk put money into a bag and then fled down University Avenue. Police have not yet made an arrest. Thursday marked the 166th year since classes began at UW-Madison. The milestone was marked by UW Founders Day events hosted by the Wisconsin Alumni Student Board. Activities included finding Bucky around campus and university-themed trivia. That's all for this week. Once again, I'm Annie. And I'm Jen. And this has been your last week in review.